wonderful humans how are you doing on this lovely day the sun is shining it's quite warm i'm wearing quite a thick jumper this could have been a mistake but that is not the point today you're going to follow me around and see what a typical university of birmingham phd humanity student does it is currently seven minutes past ten I'm not an early person, so I got up at like half nine and I'm gonna work from home for a bit and then I need to head into uni for various things. So let's go get some breakfast. So this is pretty much the breakfast I have every day. It's super simple. It's literally hummus with tomatoes. And I don't know if I got it from anywhere, I kind of just did it one day because I was like well that sounds like it would taste good and I was trying to get like a sugar free healthy-ish breakfast because I have a sugar addiction and this was sort of the only one I've been able to stick to, I've been having it for like two, three weeks now which for me for breakfast is a long time because breakfast is a meal I struggled with my entire life to eat A healthy and B actually eat at all. So. This is a win in my books, but it's super simple to do. It takes like hardly any time at all. To be honest, the longest section is waiting for the toast to be ready. And probably cutting the tomatoes. It doesn't look that fancy in here. But that is the end result. <laughs> so I'm currently in my study. It's quite cute. I don't think I've ever shown my study really on before let me get a good view for you oh. so that's my little study workspace I need to do some writing this morning and possibly a few other things I basically have a deadline due Friday for my supervisor which is like 8,000 words I'm currently at 4,000 ish it'll be fine that's what I keep telling myself <laughs> I tell myself that all the time but it will be fine so I'm gonna do some work I have to head into uni at 2 and it's now about 10.30 so I haven't got that long. I've been working since about 10 30 so that's not too bad I got quite a bit done today actually I finished the section I was writing on gay romances and how they are different from MM romances and kind of like the politics behind them and how they grew as a genre that's what my thesis is kind of about or part of it so that was quite interesting to me but I don't know if it'll be interesting to other people but that's what I was writing about and now I have about 45 minutes so I need to leave for uni where I'm going to be recording that podcast I mentioned, it's all about sustainability, we'll see how that goes. I've never done a podcast before so I'm a little bit nervous but we'll see how it goes. Um, I wear this because otherwise my hand hurts when I type, in okay, case you're curious. I wasn't wearing the start of the video, I kind of just wear it when I'm doing lots of laptop work because I kind of move my hand in a weird way and it stretches it and it's causing me problems. It's something called like tentacitis. I'll put it up on the screen but that's what I've got so I wear this and I have like the special I have this as well it makes me feel like an old lady but it helps and yes yeah, so I've got 45 minutes continue reading The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs which is the book I'm reading at the moment that I'm quite enjoying as well so I'll check back in on you when I get ready to leave for uni so I actually got a phone call just as I was leaving the house which wasn't the best timing it meant I'm even later because it was like one of those phone calls that you kind of had to take. It's like a doctor's phone call. So now I'm even later. I'm trying to speed walk to the uni, which I'm not good at the best of times. But hopefully I get there on time. Well, we've arrived at the uni. I'm 
I'm doing my video for the uni today. It's the day of my life, so this is getting recorded. I had to press play and stop, and then we just chatted. <laughs> yeah, I really, I've never done a podcast of any kind before, so. <laughs> how long is it? How long is it? Oh, yeah. to be. Oh, right, we, okay. we no aim for time. like 30 to 40 minutes just because we imagine yeah, that's as much as we can listen to as a student. Yeah statement like my reusable bottle is very cool not many people have it and i feel pretty awesome when i walk around with it um so is exactly. it should could we do like i don't know like home uni and something but like i think a, it's living sustainably as a student so isn't it all uni based but we could do different sections so like how do you live sustainably in like your beauty regime how do you live sustainably nice. in your yeah. You're studying. Well, there's different. There's I different think, things you can split yeah, it up into. Because like our like the English department, they have like a book sharing thing, so second years can buy final year books, and so you don't have to keep buying them. But nice. like at home, we use a like a like my uni house, we use a renewable energy supplier. Transport and what yeah. you can do like when you're out and about to actually be sustainable as well, because that's part of being a student. Yeah. Would we bring up like the argument that it is too ex like when people were, would we argue any of these points that like when we were talking about like things being wrapped in plastic. Shall so, we maybe start recording? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like conscious. So, so food, beauty, household, and living just as it's like going out and about in the in city. In the general In capacity. the general, yeah. yeah, gorgeous, I'm happy. So that is where we were recording and we've just finished and I think it was a pretty good podcast. So now I've got like a weird 30 minute break before I start my next stuff. So let's see what I do. And I'm going to head to my favourite room on campus, the PGR Suite in Arts Building. Campus is actually getting pretty cute at the moment. It's like a sunny day for once, blue skies. Doesn't often happen in Birmingham. PGR suite is completely empty. <laughs> Just for me. Actually recording you, so uh, you know. Terrifying. Do you know if Amy would be able to make it? I don't know if Amy will be able to make it. Amy is my supervisor, uh, but I haven't spoken to her recently. I'm assuming she's coming as she was kind of helping organise it. She... This is Liam, by the way. Hello, HD, YouTube. Second year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Firstly. laughs> he sort of walked in as I was recording, so now he's just been lumped into the video. I uh, moved house this morning. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. And now I'm in the wonderful PGR suite, which I've Instagrammed before and talked about a lot because it's kind of my go to place on campus. And I have half an hour, probably less than half an hour now, before I need to go to the in and of problems of the contemporary with Liam is sort of organising, was helped organise, and you just saw him. So we were just chatting about it. I don't really know what it involves still, but I'm going along for the ride and I will bring you with me. Well, I was kind of thinking generally for everyone who would like to kind of speak a bit about their research, could almost do a bit of like a three minute thesis style, like this is what I'm into a bit. It's very voluntary, very optional, can skip that. And then just like to, to speak a bit about some of the issues of yeah, periodizations and genre and canonization and all these kind of things and how it might relate to that. Or just go off on your own tangents as well. That'd be great. Entex don't restrict it necessarily, but they sort of push it in a direction. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, the critical end of text. So. And whether that whether whether that is a genre, genre if we have an optic, um, like an ocean gothic, you know, is it is a particular optic. So we just finished 
finished the in and of contemporary so it's like a two hour chat kind of just about like problems of researching the contemporary i tried to record bits of it so you will have seen that and now grab some dinner and we're gonna go play D, &D and i'll show you a bit of that Five feet, like each square is five feet, so it costs ten to move through it. Like a corner of the room, so it's not part of the rest of the room. Right. Well, firstly, well, hold on. Firstly, uh, you get to. So I am now back home. It's nearly eleven o'clock at night. I ended up getting the bus back because it was kind of late when we finished playing D and D. But that is a fairly typical-ish day in my PhD life so a bit of work, a bit of fun, a bit of department stuff I guess like the issues of the contemporary thing that was just like a fun sort of collection of people studying contemporary stuff and kind of some of the problems we face in it so I hope you enjoyed this if you did give it a subscribe, give it a comment I don't normally do that so it feels a bit awkward but yeah and I hope you enjoyed my little day in my life as a Birmingham University PhD student. Bye!